New at five, the Pentagon's former mandate requiring service members to get the COVID vaccine is costing taxpayers dearly. A federal court in Florida has approved a settlement requiring the Department of Defense to pay more than one and a half million dollars in legal fees. And it's all related to lawsuits brought by former troops who got kicked out. Mike Gooding has the details. Before the mandate was rescinded in January, more than 8,400 troops were forced out of the military for refusing to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Thousands of others sought religious exemptions, but few got them. Now, following multiple restraining orders and injunctions, including a class-wide injunction, two lawsuits filed by service members challenging the Defense Department's now-defunct COVID-19 vaccine order have ended in a settlement, according to an agreement filed Tuesday in a Florida federal court. A judge awarded Liberty Council, the firm representing plaintiffs, $1.8 million to cover legal fees incurred during the cases. So oh, I think that on this issue, the COVID mandate is dead, but has the military learned its lesson? I don't think so. I think it's systemic. I think there needs to be a regime change at the very top, beginning with the Pentagon and some of the higher level individuals. Liberty Council founder and chairman Matt Staver hopes the settlement makes a difference going forward. The message that this should send out is that the Department of Defense and the various branches of the military need to comply with the law, particularly the Constitution. In this case, the First Amendment, but also the federal law known as the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The DOD is now required to pay Liberty Council within 21 days. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. According to the DOD website, more than 2 million service members got the vaccine and are fully vaccinated. But there were more than 453,000 cases of COVID-19 among service members and 96 deaths.